Even though I started playing soccer later than most of my peers, I was always one of the most technically skilled, especially when it came to my footwork. That wasn't because I was naturally talented, it was just because I spent more time with the ball at my feet. I used to do footwork drills just like these in my basement and in backyard every single day. You can improve your footwork extremely fast if you're consistent with your training and you follow the advice I'm about to share with you. Watch this entire video because I will show you 29 of the best soccer footwork drills, some helpful tips to help you improve your skills faster, and a simple strategy you can use to guarantee results. As you may know, I'm all about teaching practical skills. I want you to have incredibly fast and flashy feet, but you have to be effective on the field. For that reason, all of these drills will help you develop real skills that will help you get out of tight situations and beat defenders on the pitch. The drills progress from beginner to advanced, but never think you're too good for a basic drill. Even professionals practice the basics. In fact, what makes them so good is the quality at which they perform basic skills. At the end of the video, I'll give you a routine you can follow to get the most out of these drills, improve your skills as fast as possible, make your feet stand out in games, but most importantly, make you a more effective player on match day. Enjoy the video and please remember to hit that like button and share this on social media so we can inspire more players to improve faster and achieve more.
Here are a few tips to help you get more out of these drills and improve at a faster speed. First, I want to talk about frustration. If you struggle with a specific skill, don't lose your cool. Realize frustration does not make you better. In fact, it makes you worse. Just as much as you're practicing technical skills, you need to be practicing mental skills in your training. Your ability to control your emotions and channel that energy positively is something you need to master if you want to improve and succeed in this game. Instead of getting frustrated, breathe, compose yourself, remain focused, be persistent, never give up, tell yourself to keep going, and eventually you will get it. Always practice with both feet. You may find that your weaker foot doesn't feel the same as your stronger foot when you're performing these drills. Instead of giving up on your weaker foot, try to compare it to your strong foot. How do you hold it differently? Flex it, move it, where do you touch the ball? In the beginning, it will feel weird, but by comparing your feet and trying to replicate the same movements in your weaker foot, over time, both of your feet will feel the same. When performing these drills, don't just focus on the quality of your touches. Also focus on the quality of your body movement. If you look at the best dribblers in the world, yes, they have great skills, but what makes them extremely effective is usually their ability to control their body, keep balance, and change direction efficiently. Simply remind yourself to get lower to the ground, bend your knees, and be aware of your body as well as your touches. As always, I cannot just have you watch a video. I need you to get results. So here's what I want you to do in order to get faster feet. Number one, complete these 29 drills every day for a minimum of one week. Honestly, you would feel better after one session, but if you do it consistently for one week, you'll be feeling fast and effective on the field. Number two, perform each drill for 30 seconds. So that's about 14 and a half minutes of work. Rest 15 to 30 seconds between exercises depending on how you're feeling you'll notice you'll get some great skill out of this training session but you'll also get a lot of fitness and that is a good thing number three get the full list of exercises in the description below and number four just feel the amazing emotion and experience of gaining skill and confidence every time you go to the field remember guys you can watch this video but if you don't put it into action, nothing is going to come from it. So don't let other people get faster feet while you sit there on the couch. It's time to put in the work. It'll only take you a few minutes a day, but you'll get great results.